Kolo Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Shalom. To the house of David, the hundred and forty-four thousand by after Odah and the one-third men, women, children, part of the elect. To the Israelite foreigners, scattered four corners of the earth, the confusion of faces, and speaking the different tongues. Basically, um, over here, oh, uh, ran to the article because I was looking at um, satanic rituals and uh, the Rothschilds and because it's that time of uh, the seasons of the weeks. Starts on March 22nd next month. So we bring out March as the Roman God of War, which they had their own satanic high holidays. They do they do their rituals to Satan basically. And over here, um <laughs> witches cast mass spell with hopes of removing Trump from office. Call it hocus pocus. So witches went at midnight and were casting spells at Trump to hope to remove him out of office. But that's in the scriptures, man. That proves that we at the end. Because Esau is divided against Esau, man. You know, here it is, witches Witches are putting actually curses on other witches because Trump is a witch, man. All these politicians and all these politicians are witches and warlocks, man. That proves that we at the end. Matthews 12 and 26, and if Satan, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? You know, that proves that we at the end, man. Because these witches, these politicians are witches and warlocks. Shit, democracy is body of demons. So how is it satan uh, witches are putting casting spells on other witches, man, and warlocks? And if and if and if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your choice cast them out? Therefore the, they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the spirit of Yahweh, then the kingdom of Yahweh is, is come unto you. Or else how can I how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods? Except the first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. He that is not with me is against me, and he that is gathered not with, with me. I'm just going to read this like here. Read that again. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattered abroad. So basically, the main verse was the same be divided against Satan. How can his kingdom stand? You know, let me read that. Let me start with the 25th verse. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. So here it is, witches are putting casting hexes and curses on the one Trump, the witch, eagle face Trump, Obadiah face. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? And that proves that we at the end, man. Here it is, these witches, witches and warlocks get at midnight to put curses on Trump, hope to remove him out of office, man. That proves that we at the end. A hey, matter of fact, it's going to be the Russians. You eat my brethren in Russia that's going to shoot missiles over here. They have a missile called SS-18. So Edomites, <laughs> Esau is going to be destroyed. Ed Esau, Satan is going to be destroyed by Satan with a missile called Satan. So they're going to shoot missiles over here and America is going to shoot missiles back. That proves that we at the end. You devils are divided amongst each other. Even amongst the Rothschild family. The, the Council of 13, they're divided amongst them themselves. They're going back and forth. Having feuds and fights, man. Bubble, bubble, I smell trouble. Witches across the country were gathering at the stroke of midnight to put a hex on President Trump. Did you see this? That's right, Ken. Find Donald J. Trump. Find their wickedness. Find their wickedness. This is real. Scenes like this playing out as a collective spell was cast under the crescent moon. The witches plan to do the same for each upcoming crescent moon until President Trump is out of office.